Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Lux Fiat channel. Billy here, and today we got some exciting news. So, uh, over the last couple weeks, you know, we really just started a couple weeks ago, um, and our channel has already breached over 50 subscribers right now as I'm looking at it. Let me pull this up. Right now as I'm looking at it, we're at 62 subscribers, which is crazy. Uh, we started the channel not too long ago. If we go to the about page, our channel has over 1,800 views. Um, this up, is by far. Oops, this is by far one of the biggest successes I've had on YouTube so far, and I just want to say thank you to all you guys who are liking, commenting, subscribing, um, and all the usual stuff that we ask you to do. The support is appreciated. Um, and I just wanted to extend that gratitude before we go on in this video. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So in this video, we're going to be going over uh, Panda Girl and Cat Girl, uh, these two sort of uh, colliding cryptocurrencies right now in the play to earn space, the DeFi space. Uh, both of these coins have kind of been consolidating a bit, uh, not really doing much up and down, up and down, staying within this certain price range and this certain percentage. Uh, and we're just going to kind of go over it, give you information on where I think these coins are going to be going in the next month or so. And um, yeah, we'll just move on from there. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so looking at Panda Girl, we could see, you know, when it released, it had this huge uh, pump all the way up to even killing a couple zeros before uh, dumping all the way back down to sort of like real price, real IPO price, or ICO price rather. Uh, personally, I'm sitting about uh, 4x up my initial investment still, um, where it's sitting at right now, around this 33 mark, 31 mark. Um but as you see, it's kind of come down, kind of just consolidated within this range here. And um, we can expect it to kind of come back up and retest this all-time high fairly soon uh, because they have a lot of things going on in the near future. Um, we can go to their uh, website and we can just kind of see the roadmap again and see exactly where we are on the roadmap. Uh, so if we go here, right, so... We have all this done, all this done, all this done, right? We uh, They got uh, listed on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko, which was one of the biggest things that happened within 24 hours of the, the launch, and that is what caused this initial pump. And then the, the dump right after was probably because of um, the people who got in really, really early and just wanted to take profits. That's all it was. Um, right now, we're, they're trying to get the white paper, and then they're going to have the audit right after. Then they move on to phase two, which when they move on to phase two, that in itself might be a huge announcement that might let it take off to the next level. Um, in phase two, they're going to redo their website. They're going to contact some influencers. They're going to uh, get it on a crypto exchange, uh, the NFT development. All this stuff is... Uh, pretty near in the future i believe uh in the next month or two uh, it should it should really be uh rolling out and i think panda girl has a lot of potential in the future as long as you're willing to hold and you have uh no emotional ties to that money um again this is not financial advice it's just to provide you information with uh making certain investment decisions and that's pretty much it um we're we're just trying to give you the information so that you can make your decision whether or not you want to stay in this project or you want to pull out of it uh it's completely up to you me personally i think in the next couple months this coin has a lot of potential um but that pretty much wraps it up for Panda Girl. Um, again, not a lot going on. It's really consolidating within this channel between 40 and 60 right now. We're kind of breaking below that, uh, which is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. But uh, the catalysts in the future do really help its case, even though it's falling. And that kind of concludes Panda Girl. So we'll move on to Cat Girl and talk about that. Hey guys, Future Billy here, and I actually forgot to mention that Panda Girl actually has direct buying from Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, Google Pay straight from their website. So if you wanted to buy it straight from there, 
uh, you could go ahead and do that uh, at pandagirl.io. So I'll go ahead and see you in the next section. Okay, so uh, Catgirl kind of has the same thing going on. It had this huge pump, and then it's just been dumping since. Um, it's kind of at this last recent support where this bull flag kind of kind of formed. So hopefully we can catch some uh, some support here and just kind of consolidate for a while. Um, it seems like we're kind of doing that already. Uh, and so once this kind of passes, we'll see. The thing about Catgirl for me, though, is that uh, right now the team isn't doing a whole lot. At least it doesn't seem like it on the service. And they're, they're not really keeping us a whole, you know, whole updated with what they're doing. Uh, I'm 100% sure they're doing great things with the project. And I don't, I don't think in any way they're doing anything malicious. I think it's just... It feels a little slow for a token that's been out for almost six months now. As you can see, I mean, we're right here. It hasn't even reached its all-time high. Um, again, if we want to go back 90 days, you know, uh, it IPO'd way back when. But the growth is still, I'm not saying the growth is not there. The growth is there. Um, we had this head and shoulders sort of pattern grow. So that's a, something to work out or that's something to, uh, look out for once we'll see if that comes to fruition. If it does, I mean, it, it's just going to drop more. Um, although, I mean, if it's the same thing as Panda Girl, once they release a catalyst or, you know, something happens, I think season two is actually on the way. Uh, season one is ending soon. So when it moves to season two, I think that will bring more buyers in and it'll lock more eyes to it. So, uh, that's the, that's the good news to the bad news. Um, the chart doesn't look very good in my eyes, uh, but the catalyst coming in the future might make this coin fly. So yeah, so yeah, the, so the, uh, all-time high is about 200% where it's at now. So it's fallen 200% from its all-time high. But I think in the future, we'll we'll see that again and more. So just look out for that. Uh, again, not financial advice, just providing you information. Uh, take this with what you will. Um, but me personally, I'm holding both of these coins pretty long-term uh, for about a month or two. And then from there, we'll kind of... Uh, assess and see if it's still worth holding but that kind of concludes cat girl again not a lot going on with these two coins um but yeah that concludes this section all right guys that concludes this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you found it informative and helpful and if you did go ahead and leave me a like and subscribe down below uh remember none of this is financial advice and it's just to make your own decisions based on what we found and what we're providing you so with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video and i'll talk to you guys later peace